Welcome back to the channel. This is Sai Wadka from Divine Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini. All that I need to know from now until the 21st of the month. So, Jan 2023, what's coming up for you guys? First card we have is Temperance in the Reverse. You, you, you guys are all over the place. Okay, You guys do not feel um, at uh, peace with the situation that you are in. You have lots of doubt regarding this person. Uh, it could also be a one-sided relationship or seems to be like a one-sided relationship where you're putting in all the efforts and the person is just receiving from the other end. Okay, you're the giver and the person is a taker here. Okay, so with the temperance card, many of you guys could also be dealing with the Sagittarius here. Okay, but whatever it is, I don't see it uh, being quite balanced and you need to reconsider uh, whether you should give in or give out of this relationship. Okay. With strength card for now, you may be holding on to your pride, your ego. You do not want to be the chaser here. Okay, I see you majorly holding back, uh, just wanting uh, them to be reaching out first now. Okay, you could also feel that your person lacks inner strength, compassion and empathy. Okay, and you wish the person was more giving towards you. Okay, with the fool card here, you need to be willing to take a risk, be bold and expand your vision surprises are in store for you okay full always represents a new journey okay if you're in a new relationship you may fear rejection but this card indicates that this should not hold you back okay when you open yourself up to the world that is to your partner to your situation even in the face of you know if you're uh, embarrassed you know you need to not fear rejection you may find what you are looking for only if you take your chances Instead of giving up, keep trying. The partner that you are with seems very familiar to you, like you have always known them. Six of Cups can represent a time of healing after a tough journey. And uh, comfort is very important to you right now. If you and your person have had a stressful period in a relationship, looking backward at the good times that you have spent together can perhaps help you feel good about the situation and bring some great comfort. Okay, however, with the magician here, you do not want to give up on them for what they make you feel. Yes, there are bad times as well, but relationships are a circle of good and bad, right? You can't, you cannot just wish for the good days, you know, life is such that you have to face both. With Hierophant card, many of you guys at this current time would be asking yourself if this is something that uh, will ever move forward towards the long term future, whether it, it, it can last um, a lifetime. You know, you really want this person to be going uh, long term with you. You do not wish to have fights, arguments and give up so soon. You really wish and want to manifest uh, that this situation, uh, you know, goes forward been someone who gets in a lot of attention and, and that kind of irritates you a lot but uh, i i do feel uh, this person is also someone who who um, knows how to get your attention okay they'll do things uh, just when you're deciding of giving up or walking away they'll do something that you know pulls you back in okay so yes in terms of the overall energy relationship with the eight of wands i do see communication coming from their end pretty soon okay with four of pentacles in, in the past they've been majorly playing it safe but yes in the coming eight weeks i do see this person putting in some serious efforts okay the page of cups if you're asking me about their feelings i don't see you expressing much but this person in their own capacity will want to express themselves but I do see them having emotions. At least they have a strong liking towards you. Okay. For many of you, this, this person, regardless of their age, could be very childish with the approach. Okay. With the moon card, this person does not know what they want with you long term. But, you know, just like you feel connected to them, even they feel connected to you. Okay. Three of Pentacles in the reverse can indicate a couple that is struggling to work things together practically and emotionally okay they may be having emotions but they are not willing to express it or put in effort or action you may be feeling like you are putting in all the effort while your partner is taking you for granted also conflict between the two of you 
is creating a very stressful environment between the two of you but their lack of effort has definitely been affecting you and that's one of the reasons why you are thinking of uh, holding back back transformation for one partner may be what is needed to help both individuals grow okay it repres it represents a uh, change okay and uh, you have the choice to either accept and welcome your relationship transformation or just let it go and with death card intentionally they have held back a lot many times and that has sabotaged the connection in some which way uh, with death card this person is always very closed off it's not your fault that they are uh, behaving this way that's just them okay they are super practical and they could be having uh, many failed relationships in the past and uh, that's just their approach to any other new connection they just do not want to open up okay in terms of heart space what do they have for you but seven of pentacles for now this person will still take time before you know they step up to the next level yes emotionally here and there they will express themselves but not much they'll they'll want to spend more time get to know you better or like before they decide of moving to the next uh, step okay what else do we see with the uh, emperor card their their love language is control they like to have control over the others or person or the situation okay uh, they do not like when uh, they get triggered by the situation every, every time you trigger them this person will hold back i do not see this person engaging with you okay so their major love language is control um, understanding you uh, wanting you to be expressing your feelings to them but they do not do the same to you okay so this this person is somewhat hard to love okay for many of you uh, you could be dealing with an aries as well aries cancer uh, scorpio taurus leo sagittarius are the signs that i see here okay in terms of uh, their intentions towards you intention with the sun card here this person does want to give you attention in the coming weeks i i see this person wanting to uh, meet you as well uh, if if the, if they've been uh, possibly pushing you away in the past if they've been giving you that cold shoulder like then i do see this person initiating uh, and bringing in that change okay this person will want to meet you and you guys could go on a date pretty soon the past four weeks could have been very bad okay and you did feel left out and they do want to change that okay with queen of pentacles i honestly believe that this person wants you to hold on to them they do not want you to give up okay uh, they do like the fact that you are putting in that serious effort and they might also express uh, and let you know that no one has ever made them feel this way you genuinely care for them it's not because you lust them or you love them or you expect something from them it's just a genuine concern from your end okay with three of swords this this person could have had a failed marriage or a relationship in the past and that could have been one of the major reasons why they are so blocked or they are so uh, you know uh, detached okay they take a long time before they finally open up okay with eight of cups uh, this this person does not wish to have a emotional connection as of now they will take their time okay but you need to know that this person will run away every time you expect them or rather ask them uh, as to how you feel about them if not uh, like physically at least emotionally they will want to stay distant they'll come up with a super ex excuse as to why they are uh, not you know expressing or, or or why they do not seem interested in you okay with uh, the three of wands this person is also very career oriented and they could be uh, giving a lot of time to their work life their career and that leaves very less time for you okay in terms of what do they want to have with you now the chariot card i i do see you guys meeting up at least in the next uh, four weeks okay i i do see a meetup for many of you you will meet within the next uh, seven days 
for some of you it, it could take up to four weeks okay not gonna lie or give you any false promise here you guys could also be traveling together pretty soon okay but that i mostly see in fab not even in uh uh, Jen, okay with the hanged man here this person has been keeping a very close watch on your social media you think that they do not give a fuck but they clearly do okay with the wall card i i do feel that this person regardless of the attention they, they might be getting from other people they are very much attached with page of pentacles try not to always put practicality before passion in relationship and the two of you should be just fine sometimes you do fear that this connection will get stagnant there can be major frustration stemming from the boredom that you're going through too with king of wands i i do see the connection getting very sexual in the coming month this person uh, will not just communicate with you but also start getting very flirty and uh, sexual okay with high priestess, this this person does have genuine, uh, you know. High priestess is advising you that you need to be super patient with this individual. Okay. okay. This relationship right now requires honest communication. For it to grow and get to a place, honest communication is very much required. Of cups, you need to let them know that this behavior is not acceptable okay and uh, they, they 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 need to uh, be responsible for that shit okay if uh, they want a relationship with you they should respect you first no relationship can ever grow without respect okay with empress card here many of you guys might right now be looking forward to a stable serious committed relationship this card represents um longevity okay sometimes it can be a signal of marriage or pregnancy for some of you or a beginning of a new family of wands it's going to be a difficult connection no doubt about it but uh yes this will also teach you a lot okay this person is here to teach you a much needed lesson but it's not just a lesson it will uh you know extend towards a romantic relationship as well okay right now things could just be very friendly and sexual but in the coming days i do see this person opening up if I'm being very honest with you, uh, by March or April, I, I do feel this person and you will be in a lot better situation than, you know, what you are right now. Okay, with, with Lover's card, if they have uh, choices, they will definitely want to choose you after taking that time. And with Seven of Wands, they will not let you walk away from them. Okay, right now they could be behaving very chilled out, but they do want you. They do not like you ghosting them. And with King of Pentacles, they definitely want you to hold on to them. Okay, so let's take some love messages. I miss your voice. I try to play our old conversation. I want to run my soft hands all over your skin and hair. I love you, baby. Uh, I wish I had expressed my true free feelings. My, my karmic relationships don't last and I know why. The person in the past could be having a lot uh, of attention and their relationships never last. And now uh, they will come to a sense as, as to why. Okay, I get dreams about you. I am obsessed with you. Have you done some spell on me? Okay. You kill me with your silence. That's the final message. That's all I'm going to say. For Gemini, if it uh, resonated, do not forget to hit the like button. If you want a personal reading, you could directly uh, move to Etsy, my website, or you could come to WhatsApp and ask as to what a reading would work best for you. That is all from my side. Thank you so much. See you.